Hello, it's Tina Shaw from tinashaws.blogspot.com and today I want to show you how to make the card, the happy birthday card that was in the set where I made the pretty little purse and um, the other cards that I have right here. The amazing, grateful for a friend and thank you. And then of course this one's the happy birthday. So let's get started. And here are all my supplies. This is the regular card stock, the, the Whisper White. And it's cut at eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and then folded. And then I used my bone folder. And then I have next a piece of five and a quarter by four of the daffodil, Dilla, um, daffodil, daffodil delight. I got confused because of the daisy delight. <laughs> okay, so then I have another piece of whisper white, and this one is cut at five by three and three fourths. I have also a piece of the beautiful daisy designer paper that I've used in this whole set and this one is cut at five inches by two so I'm going to make a mess use my Tombow I'm gonna put this right down on the bottom of this layer like that and then this is a piece of the Daffodil Delight. And this was um, one of the large oval framelits that we had. Um, I'm thinking, uh, I'm not sure if this one is still in or not, but it's just a large oval. Um, if you don't have the large one, you can use the smaller ones that are in the current, um, the current set. So then with this one, I used my dimensionals and just put some on the back like this like that and then take the backs off guess I'll put all that on there okay and then I just put this on here about like right actually over there a little bit there and I could go ahead and glue this together so I'll see exactly where everything's going to be sitting there we go that like that and then the, the little happy birthday goes there and then I've already punched out with using, whoops, the daisy punch. Um, one daisy in white, one daisy in the Daffodil Delight. And I just like to take my glue dots and just put one on the back like this. And put it together because I think it looks kind of cute doubled like that. And then if you like... You can always fold um, with your bone folder. Just kind of bend it a little bit if you want it that way, or if you want it that way. I kind of like it this way today. So that. Let's see. I think we've got to put the happy birthday on first. I'm going to get my little silicone mat. <clears throat> Flip this over, and you can do this or. You could use your glue, your fine tip glue pen. Um, I didn't have my lid on right, so it won't work. I have to get another one. Anyway, just put some adhesive on there. And then just put this on here. About like right there. And then I'm going to take another dimensional and put on the back of the cute little daisy. Pop that one just right down on the card. Like that. And then I 
just going to take a piece of, if I had a scrap, I didn't bring out a scrap, this will work, just a piece of the Daffodil Delight, and I'm going to punch out a half inch circle using our half inch circle punch. Well, actually, I did this backwards. On this one, I did it the other way. So, you know, you still can put this on here like that. I never do anything the same way twice. <laughs> There's that. And then I'm taking one of the cute little clear faceted gems. And this one, sticky and put it right on top of that. Look how quickly this is going to gather. And then I'm just going to take this and put it on the card base. And there you go. And there's your card. And then on the inside I did I just stamped a flower, the daisy. Just inked it up. Stamped it about right there. And then that was in the Daffodil Delight. And then I took the Molded Navy. And then I used It's Your Day. Inked it up. And just put that over here. And there you have it, the cute little card that goes with the cute little purse, like that. Hope you enjoyed that, and I should be back with the other videos for the other cards in a day or two. Thanks for watching. Bye.